I'm Jesse Carrara, owner of Light Garden Glass Art. The question I get most often is, how do I program my kiln? It's really pretty easy. First you need to know what program you're going to run for the project you're working on. You can get one of these System 96 firing guide off of our website, lightgarden.net. Information, tips, and techniques. This guide is a good place to start. It will recommend firing programs for 8th inch, quarter inch, and 3 eighths. It's also a good idea to keep track of the programs that you've fired. So if it turns out well, you can run the same program again. If there's problems, you can make notes and correct it in your next firing. We're going to use this 96 firing guide to program our hot start kiln for a project of a quarter inch, which is probably most common. That would be a eighth inch base layer and pieces on top of that. Most kilns ask for the same information. Rate, how fast am I going? Temperature, how hot am I going to get? And hold, once I get there, how long am I going to stay there? You're going to have to answer these three questions for every segment, and that, that, that's as hard as it gets. Today we're using a hot start kiln made by Scut, and it has an auto side and it has a program side. We're going to use the program side. First, you want to make sure that your kiln is on program. If you've been using it on auto, all you do is hit a up and program would be your next choice. When it says something that you like, you hit enter. So we like program, so we're going to hit enter. The next thing it's going to ask you is what program number is this? You have up to five programs that you can program into your kiln. I'm using program number three for a full fuse. I like program three, so I'm going to hit enter. Next is going to ask me how many segments total is in this program. It says segment, not SE6, segment five. So there's going to be five segments in this program. I know according to the, the System 96 guidelines, it has six. But I find that if you turn it off after 800 degrees, it comes down through the rest of the temperature. Okay. We like that, so we're going to hit enter. So now we're into our actual first segment. And it's asking me, first segment, what's your first rate? Rate one, 400. We like that. It says 400 on my first rate, 400 degrees an hour, so we're going to hit enter. And then, where is it going to? 1,000 degrees. It says 1,000 Fahrenheit, toggle back and forth. We like 1,000 degrees, so we're going to hit enter. Hold one. Okay, we're not going to hold it all. It's going to get to 1,000 degrees, and what we want it to do is go immediately to the next segment. So we're going to hit Enter, and that's your first segment. Now it's saying Rate 2, so we're into our second segment. Rate 2 is actually 1,000 degrees an hour. We like that, so we're going to hit Enter. Now it's saying um, Desired effect is what the chart says, and that will depend on the kiln, on the size of your program, project. Usually, five minutes at 1450 is good for most two-layer projects, and you may need to adjust that. And you'll, you won't know that until you run it a few times. So we're going to go up to 1450. The chart says 1465, but I kind of like 1450. It's not quite that hot. And I know at 1450, I can usually run it for five minutes. So I hit enter at 1450, and now we're into hold time. I like five minute hold on 1450 for most of my two layer projects. So I'm gonna make the three layer, three minute into a five minute, and hit enter. Now we're into segment three, rate three, 999, nine or four nines is kiln shorthand for go as fast as possible and this is true of most kilns so 999 that's your rate that means go as fast as possible from 1450 now that we've cooked it as much as we want we want to move on and have it cool down so it doesn't continue to keep cooking so rate three is four nines and we'll hit enter because we like that and we want it to go as fast as possible down to a thousand degrees it says a thousand degrees, we like that, so we hit enter. And then we're going to hold for eight minutes. 
We like that, so we hit enter again. Now we're on to, rate, uh, to se uh, segment four. Segment four has 300 degrees as its rate. We like that, so we'll hit enter. This is your critical anneal, so you really want to hang out at 950 degrees for a while to let all the molecules kind of get in their happy place before they come completely solid again. So we're going to hold at 950 degrees, we like that, that's its critical anneal point, and we're going to hold for 20 minutes. That allows the glass to relieve all of its stress before it goes on to its next segment. We like hold for 20 minutes, so we're going to hit enter. Your last segment, segment five. See, I told you. This is easy. Rate, your rate is 200 degrees an hour. We like that, so we're going to hit enter. We want it to go 200 degrees an hour to 800, so we like that. We're going to hit enter. And once it gets there, we don't want it to hold at all. We just want it to turn off, so we hit enter again. It's now telling you that it's ready. That means all of its programs have been, or segments have been programmed and it's ready to go. And if you hit enter again, it's going to turn on. I hope this answers some of the questions you've been having about programming your kiln. If you want to ask me any more questions, you can always contact me through our website, lightgarden.net, or on Facebook, Facebook forward slash lightgarden. Thank you so much.